Hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free maths videos. This one is about speed, time, distance and some graphs you can make like this distance time graph here. And uh, one of the most important things you need to remember here is how to remember this formula speed equals distance divided by time which is really easy actually because if you ever look at speed it's measured like this kilometers per hour or miles per hour. Now kilometers is a distance and hours is basically a time and that sign is a divide sign so that just basically means distance divided by time. It could be miles per hour so that would still be distance. Miles is just a distance, yeah? So uh, miles divided by time, distance divided by time as it says here. So it's very easy to remember this formula speed equals distance divided by time. Once you've got this formula you can rearrange it so easily to get formulas for distance or time. Uh, for example if I want to work out a formula for distance all I do is take this divide by times uh, and take it to the other side and it becomes times by time. A very basic equation trick which you, if you don't know, just go to my website sickmaths.co.uk in the GCSE section and you'll find uh, a little topic called basic equations and you understand how to do that. So move this to the other side it becomes times by s speed yeah, because the speed's already there, that moves across and becomes times by speed, uh, times times by speed, uh, and you get distance. So if I want to work out the distance travelled in a, a particular journey, I see how fast I'm going for that journey and how long I've been travelling for, times them together and I get the distance. Time can be easily worked out. If I move the times by speed to the other side, it comes to divide by speed. So I get time equals distance divided by speed. And uh, just put those numbers in and you get the time travel for the journey. Now, let's talk about this distance time graph. Um, my distance in this case is measured in kilometers and my time measured in hours. And this is a very typical kind of journey in a GCSE maths exam where I start off from home usually and I go off somewhere uh, and in this case it's 45 kilometers to that somewhere, say it's a sweet shop, a very distant sweet shop for some reason, and uh, chill out for a little bit and then I come back. Now this is dotted by the way just because sometimes, quite often, you have to draw the last part of the speed time graph but we will come to that in a minute. Let's talk about how what we can find out from this speed time graph. For example, we can work out the speed for part A of the journey. How do you work that out? Well, going back to our formula, speed equals distance divided by time and I know my distance travelled is 45 kilometres in one hour. So I do 45 divided by one which is 45, 45 kilometres per hour because it's kilometres and hours I measured things in. Right, um, another very easy way to remember how to work out speed by the way is uh, how far you travel in one hour because that's what speed is how far you travel per hour so if I've traveled at 45 kilometers in one hour um, it's as simple as that I've done 45 kilometers per hour okay and if they say I did 45 or say say I did 45 kilometers in two hours I would have done half of that in one hour so that's my speed see that's sort of working out very simple what's the speed for this well this is just zero isn't it um, I'm not doing any traveling I'm not going away or towards my starting point so I'm doing no distance traveling no distance so you can't possibly be going at any speed you must be going zero speed if you're not traveling at all so that's very simple uh, so if you've got a flat line like that that means zero speed now when it comes to drawing the last part of the diagram they usually tell you something like the speed very typical and you already know the distance you have to travel to get back okay so the distance you have to travel back in this case is 45 and if they tell you your speed is 30 kilometers per hour okay you just stick the numbers into this formula time uh, travel because basically that's what, you, what you're trying to work out then isn't it because you want to know how far down the timeline will your line cross this uh, this axis again. So that's why I'm trying to work out time. So time equals distance divided by speed. We said 45 divided by 30, which is our speed. 45 divided by 30 is 1.5. So it's taken one and a half hours to get from this point to this point. So I go half 
and a one there, one and a half hours, and just mark that point and go dot 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 dot. Now, in some really difficult situations that I can't ever remember seeing, so maybe there's not enough sp a space to draw um, the speed time graph so that it actually finally reaches here. So, in that case, what you're trying to work out really is um, you know the speed and uh, if there's not enough space then you would know the time the maximum amount of time you've got uh, for your journey in the speed time graph so you work so you've got your time and your speed and that's the distance traveled so you can say how far you traveled going downwards and you meet that point and you just dot, do your dotted line up to there okay so um, yeah you can work out say it was 10 kilometers so that would make it 35 kilometers on the list and etc etc go across from there and drew the dotted line hopefully that last bit wasn't too confusing that's like a really advanced bit so uh, if you don't get it don't worry about it too much just but if you are going for your A star just listen to it carefully I'm sure it's not too hard to understand Anyway, so, um, number two, uh, another second example. If you're traveling at 87 kilometers, um, traveling 87 kilometers at a speed of 37 kilometers per hour, so every hour you do 37 kilo 36 kilometers, I'm just reading it all wrong, aren't I? How long will the journey take? So, the distance is 86 87 kilometers and the speed is 36 kilometers and there's always the last thing you can uh, in the list is time isn't it so that's the thing you're trying to work out and again we use this formula distance divided by speed which is 87 divided by 36 now the reason why I've done this little example is because sometimes you get awkward numbers like this so either you can get it as a decimal but how many minutes does that mean? Yeah, that you can see that's obviously two hours. But how many minutes is that? Um, how do you convert that into minutes? Well, you just times it by sixty because this is how much of an hour you've got more than the two hours. So you've got two hours and this much more of an hour. Okay, so if you've got this much more of an hour, you just times it by sixty, so you get that much of the sixty minutes, which is twenty-five, which is twenty-five minutes. So that's how you convert it. Even if that was a decimal, you still times it by sixty. If you if it's a calculated paper, and it will still equal twenty-five. But if it's not a calculated paper, it's nice if it's a fraction because then you can simplify these things, like divide top and bottom by six, for example, makes that ten, makes that six. Keep simplifying, and then you'd easily get twenty-five. And that's